Shabbat Shalom to our Shar family. Shabbat Shalom to you all, and Shabbat Shalom to you, Rabbi Rachel. Shabbat Shalom to you. Kenji Welcome Zellar. to my backyard. Thank you. It's great to be here together, physically together. It's wonderful. And with all of you out there, this is what's been happening now. So slowly but surely, we've been opening up, being together uh, outdoors in safe spaces. Including in our own courtyard every weekday evening at 7 o'clock for Minyanim. So we'd love to see you all there anytime, and it's great to be here with you, Kenzer. My pleasure to have you. We are going to be looking at some of our Shabbat Zmirot once again this week. These are the Shabbat table hymns, these melodies that bring us the flavor, the atmosphere of Shabbat around our dinner tables. So I encourage you, if you have a bencher at home, to follow along. And I'm going to be speaking a little bit about each tune. We're going to be singing two tunes together, um, and, uh, and then the cantor will lead us. So uh, if you have a bencher, open it up first to Sur Michelo. Sur Michelo Achalnu, which is traditionally sung on the Friday night of Shabbat. And this melody in particular drawn from a Ladino source. The original title of the melody, Los Bilbilicos Cantan, the biblical figures sing to us, but this is a beautiful application of that melody onto the Hebrew words for this zemer. The zemer is constructed uh, with references to Birkat Hamazon, actually. There are four stanzas here. The first one uh, recalls Hazan, Hazan et Hakol, God who feeds the world. The second stanza refers to our gratitude for the land of Israel, Eretz Chemda Tova. These are phrases that directly are lifted from Birkat Hamazon. Um, the third phrase, Rachem Bechastecha, makes references um, to God's mercy and, uh, and to the temple. And the fourth stands that Yibane HaMikdash as well refers to the rebuilding of the temple. And I just want to focus in on the words of the, of the refrain. Sur Mishalo Achalnu, the rock, God, from whose food we have eaten, literally at the Shabbat dinner table, but also every single day. Uh, Baruchu Emunai, let us bless, let us bless that rock, let us bless God, the source of our sustenance, my faithful friends. And then I love this phrase, Savanu Behotarnu. We have felt satiated, and we have leftovers. <laughs> that is the hallmark of a good Shabbat dinner, is that Absolutely. not only are we filled, we filled with capacity, uh, but there's more. There's more to give to the rest of the week. There's more to give to those in need. So we are, we are satiated, and our cup runneth over. And that's the sense of abundance. And not just with food, but also with song. Of course. So take it away, Cantor. Sur mi shelo akhalnu Barechu emunai Savanu vehotarnu Ki idvar Hashem Savanu vehotarnu Hazanetolam <laughs> Shatinu Al Ken no de Ishmo Unehale no befinu Amar no ve aninu En Kadosh Kashem Amar no ve aninu Ein kadosh kashem Beshir vekol todah Nevarech elokeinu Al eretz chemdah Shein chil avoteinu Mazon vetzedah Ispi alenafshenu Chas do gavar alenu Vemet Hashem Chas do gavar alenu 
The next tune we'll sing is De Rory Kra, and if you're in your bench or in your beer cone, flip to the section that's for Saturday day, for Shabbat day, Shabbat morning. We sometimes sing this around the Shabbat lunch table. De Ror means freedom, liberty. De Ror Yikra Levenim Bat. This is a song of hope, of the future, of redemptive times. God will declare liberty, freedom, Leven Olevat, for sons and daughters, for men and for women. Um, it's a, a, a vision of a, of a better future. Um, that includes references to redemption, references to the rebuilding of the temple. I wanted to um, focus on, on one moment in the text. Uh, this is in the fourth stanza, Elohim Tain Bamidbar Har. God will put a mountain in, in the wilderness, in the wasteland. Again, a, a, an image of, of building from the rubble. Hadas Shita Barosh Tidhar, planting a cypress, planting the myrtle, etc. This beautiful image of, of planting in the, in the wilderness. And then there's a reference to those who keep Shabbat. Vela mazhir, vela nizhar. Those who teach, warn about keeping Shabbat, and those who are warned. In other words, all of us are part of a community teaching about Shabbat, receiving Shabbat, being involved in the practice of Shabbat, and those of us who, who feel the atmosphere of Shabbat will feel that atmosphere of redemption. Shalom imtain menahar. We'll feel, we'll feel that peace, that abundance, just like the abundant waters of a river, and I just have to notice that um, to note that the name of the author Dunash ben Labrat in the 10th century is etched into the stanzas of the of the tune. Excuse me, is etched into the stanzas of the lyrics. Dunash is the first, second, third, and fourth uh, letters that begin the of, the, each, the, stanza. of each stanza. The first, the first three, three, the last one. So Dalit Vav Nun and Shin, and that's how people signed their names back in the day. So we know that Dunash gave us these, uh, these words, and now you'll it's get It's a fun story. tune. Feel free to bang your tables as you go along. Elokim tene be mi de bar har hadas shita be rosh ti de har ve la mazhir ve la niz har shelom mim ten ke me na har shelom mim ten ke me na har. De chokma le na vshecha vichetel le roshecha Netzor mitzvat kedoshecha shemor shabbat kodeshecha shemor shabbat kodeshecha Shabbat shalom Shabbat shalom